In this episode of Celebrating Science, we'll look back in time at botanist Inez Mejia. Born on May 24, 1870, to a Mexican father and American mother who would ultimately separate and divorce, Inez had a challenging childhood. At 17, she moved to Mexico to be with her father and run his farm and home. By the time she was in her late 30s, she was on her second marriage and her father had passed away. She left Mexico to seek health care in San Francisco, California. While attempting to manage her anxiety and other mental health concerns, her doctor recommended physical activity in nature, and she began hiking and exploring with local outdoors groups like Save the Redwoods League and the Sierra Club. Inez became fascinated by the plants and animals she would find in the diverse California mountain habitats. In 1921, at the age of 51, Inez started a degree at the University of California, Berkeley, something that was completely unheard of for a woman in her time. In 1925, she went on her first plant collecting expedition into Mexico. Plant collecting was strenuous, serious, rigorous work. She was hired to become the first person to collect plant specimens in what is now Denali National Park, where she would preserve more than 6,000 plants. She would eventually spend two years traveling along the Amazon, collecting plant specimens and preserving them for private collectors, museums, and herbariums. She sold her plants to fund much of her work and travel. She had collected more than 145,000 plant specimens in her career, discovered a new genus of plants, and had more than 50 species named for her. She was active in many scientific societies, including the California Academy of Sciences. She was also an ardent conservationist, working to protect the redwood groves and other unique habitats around San Francisco. While she died in 1938 of lung cancer, her legacy lives on in her writing and plant collections, which are still used by researchers today. If you would like to learn more about Inez Mejia, there are many books for children and adults about her and her contributions to science. You can also learn more about the plants in your backyard or school grounds by making a simple plant press. All you need is some recycled paper and cardboard, and then a heavy weight, such as a stack of books, to use as the press. Make sure you check in with an adult before you pick any plants or leaves, and only pick from places where you're sure the plants aren't protected. Make sure your leaves and flowers are dry and free of insects. Lay them on the pieces of recycled paper, sandwich the layers of paper and plants between some cardboard, and add a heavy weight on top. Keep track of your specimens by creating a label with the date, location, your name, and the name of your plant if you know it. A free app such as Seek or iNaturalist can help you identify any plants that you find. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Celebrating Science.